How much junk mail did you receive in your home today? On average, consumers receive at least two pieces of mail each day they consider junk. That's nothing compared to Sandra Donnelly, what she deals with. Actually, it's mail addressed to her 90-year-old mother that fills her mailbox every day. So she called me for help. It's done. I can't grab it all. My hands are not that big. Enough mail to fill both hands, and this is considered an average day. Usually, the mail carrier places the overflow on the ledge below. It goes all the way to the 22nd. That's the 28th. This is the 23rd. She gets anywhere from 30 to 40 letters or more a day, the 26th. The 24th. Sandra says she, she noticed large amounts of mail while her mother was in Topeka, Kansas. That was one year ago. And the mail has followed her to Columbus. She returned the mail, but it only seems to increase. So she drafted and sent nearly 140 letters to the solicitors. If they could not send this, we'd appreciate it. She didn't ask for it, whatever, but that didn't do any good. Part of the problem? Her mother has previously donated to some of the unsolicited pleas, which places her on additional solicitation lists. Not only my mother, but I'm sure other senior citizens are going through this as well with their parents that may live alone. You know, and they're all on fixed incomes. You can't give everybody five, ten, twenty-five dollars. Adding to this mini mountain of mail, unsolicited mailings to someone who hasn't lived with her mother in 21 years. I'm even getting mail for Frank Holmes, and he's been deceased since 96. That's her husband. That's her husband. Hmm. My mom's husband, yeah. I'm like, this is crazy. Now, if you've lost a loved one, you can go to the US Postal Service website, slash manage mail. That'll help you uh, get that person off of the list. I can remove their name. Now, from mass mailings, which we all receive, directmail.com is the way to go. But say you're like Colleen and you like one or two magazines, well, you can <laughs> select which magazines you want to come to your house. And finally, consumer.ftc.gov to get your name off of the list of all of the solicitations that we receive each and every day. If you have an issue in your community, Give me a call toll free 1 855 44 J A X O N. Leave me a message or hit me up at bettercalljackson.com or on one of my Facebook pages. You know, the exact same thing happened to my mother. And I always caution people if someone's in the early stages of Alzheimer's, she would get those solicitations and she thought they were bills. So she was just writing checks to everyone before we figured out. So check your parents. It's hard to do, but check their bank account if you can. Because once they do that, yes. they're put on a list yes. and they'll get even more solicitations. Right. It's crazy.